Okay, so um, so far we have the concentration of A. Very good, very good. So in order to get the concentration of B, I'm gonna I'm gonna play around a little bit with concentration of B, just so you guys can truly understand what's going on. Now, now the concentration of B is gonna be the molar flow rate of B divided by the volumetric flow rate, and thankfully the volumetric flow rate is constant, equal to the inlet flow rate, liquid phase reaction. Now the exit molar flow rate is just going to be inlet molar flow rate minus 2 times x, x being the conversion of A, we're using stoichiometry multiplied by the um, inlet concentration of A. Okay, so this right here tells you, this right here I'm just using some stoichiometry. Okay, if one mole of A reacts, two mole of B are going to be consumed, okay? So I'm just using some stoichiometry and all of this obviously is going to be divided by my volumetric flow rate okay but let's say if i want to rewrite the above expression let's say i want to rewrite the above expression fb naught mm, divided by fa naught minus 2x fa naught so I'm multiplying and dividing by FA naught. Okay, I'm multiplying and dividing by FA naught. Hold on, give me a second. Uh, yeah, hold on, I'll just factor. What if I just factor out FA naught? Sorry, sorry for the uh, mess. My bad, my bad. Whew, all right. If I factor out FA naught, you will be left with FB inlet fb naught divided by fa naught minus 2x all right this one is okay this one makes more sense for me at least divided by volumetric flow rate inlet volumetric flow rate and now let's rewrite this shall we the constant exit concentration of b is going to be fa naught divided by v naught times okay now this right here is a ratio, the ratio of inlet molar flow rate of B divided uh, and the inlet molar flow rate of A. We're going to call this, uh, I'm not going to call this Fogler, in his chapter 4 calls it theta sub B minus 2x. Okay, theta is just the parameter. Remember, theta is just the parameter that captures the inlet conditions, the relative inlet flow rates, the relative, the ratio of the inlet flow rates, all right? nothing fancy all right nothing too fancy and this right here if you've been paying attention this right here is just this right here is just the inlet concentration this right here is just the inlet concentration of a naught a a c a sub naught theta b minus 2x so can we uh, okay so far we know this so far we know this we know this but we don't really know this but we kind of do we kind of do actually all right we kind of do Hint, hint. We know the inlet concentrations and we know the we know our inlet conditions. Hint, hint. So we're just going to use that. Copy that. Paste it here. Let me expand this for you. Theta B. FB naught. All right. Isn't FB naught just my inlet flow rate times the inlet concentration of B naught? And FA naught my inlet volumetric flow rate times the uh, inlet concentration of A. All right. And this right here, I know both of these. I know both of these. Hold up, let me just uh, take you back upstairs. 3 and 8. A, it's going to be 8 mole per meter cube divided by 3 mole per meter cube. 8 mole per meter cube divided by 3 mole per meter cube. Good. Units cancel out. Good. It's a dimensionless number. Very nice. You know, 3. All right. Good. So now I can rewrite after making all of this mess all right let's make some sense out of this chaos c sub b c a naught times eight over three minus two x all right all right let's zoom out a little bit so this right here is going to be my equation five now let's see if i can combine equation five equation four right here equation four right here along with my design equation. The design equation is what I'm trying to build up. So let me copy my design equation and bring it down. All right, we're getting good with these tools, hopefully. Copy that, paste it down here, all right. So hopefully I can, uh, let me uh, grab the other equation as well, just for, uh, copy that, paste it right here, all right, good. 
so we can just uh all right we can just yeah both of these side by side this is kind of nice all right whoops sorry about that i'm just gonna get rid of that mess real quick we're we're, we're learning both of us we're both we're both learning all right constantly learning isn't that the uh isn't that our philosophy right here so my design equation is now just going to become the volume of CSTR is equal to now I'm just going to plug in my expressions for the exit concentration now I'm just going to plug in my expressions all right k is just going to stick there for a while and uh, for ca I'm going to get ca not 1 minus x good for cb I'm going to get ca not again multiplied by 8 over 3 minus 2x Let's see if I can cancel some terms out. Oops. C A naught, C A naught, bye bye, bye bye. Good riddance. So looks like I have my final design equation. This right here is the final simplified form of my design equation. Okay. C A naught, one minus x, eight over three minus two x. Alright. I think up till now uh, x the desired conversion the desired conversion is our sizing is the uh, independent variable upon which we're going to size our dependent variable okay and we know our inlet concentration we know the rate constant we know our inlet concentration of a and we're going to be using now you can just plug in any value of x so for this one i'm going to use 0.8 all right, I'm going to just plug in. Now it's just a plug in chug. Now it's just a plug in chug. After this point, all right, you have done the reaction engineering. Now you're just going to do algebra. You've done the reaction engineering. Now you're going to do the algebra. Good job. So 0 0.8 and all right, leave your answer in the comments for a can for what answer you get for 0 0.8 and I'll leave it in the and I'll leave mine hopefully in the description okay and uh, just to make sure we had the parameters let's copy the parameters again my inlet concentrations let me just copy these at the end just for the sake of completion sorry my bad just for the sake of completion copy that drag it down drag it down drag it down drag it down all right so at this point i'm just going to bring back my bring back the information that's gonna the specs these are my specs all right my inlet conditions and that's uh, also i'm also missing k my bad i'm missing k and i believe k is equal to 0 0.025 meter cube per mole second let me just confirm that i'm sorry my bad no that's good all right so that so this box right here is just your these are your specs these are your specs and you're gonna use these specs to get your final answer all right thank you so much for watching guys and uh, this is three right here once again we're having some technical we're, we're having some technical issues my bad three it's three again sorry about that sorry all right good all right then i hope you guys had i hope you guys did not find this too um torturous hopefully and uh, yeah thank you guys for watching all right